Hello friends, uh, welcome to lecture series on essential uh, mathematics for machine learning. Now we will see some of the basic properties of convex functions in this lecture. So the first most property of convex function is that if you have a convex function f from a convex set to r, then you take any local minimum of f in s that is a global minimum. Okay. So that means if 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 in the if in a small in, uh, neighborhood you have find a local minimum and you know that a function is a convex function then that local minimum is nothing but a global minimum this is the property of this is a peculiar property of a convex function okay so let us try to see that what is the proof of this uh, theorem so we have seen that what convex functions are that we have already seen so what what do you mean by a local minimum Suppose x bar is a point of local minimum. Local minimum of f on s. So what does it mean? So it's a local minimum. Local minimum means that if you have such type of function, local minimum means if you take a small neighborhood. In the small neighborhood, uh, if this is x bar then the small neighborhood the value of this function if the function is of minimizing type that means the value of the function at fx bar is always less than or equal to fx for every x in this small neighborhood. So, this implies fx bar is always uh, less than or equal to fx uh, for every x belongs to delta neighborhood of x bar that means a small neighborhood of x bar okay. and of course, this x is in s. So, intersection with s. So, if I, if I am saying that x bar is a local minimum of f on s that means f x bar is always less than or equal to f x for every x in delta neighborhood of x bar intersection with s. And if x bar we are saying that is a global minimum what does it mean? Global minimum of uh, f on s. So, this means that f x bar is less than equal to f x for every x in s. So, if you are taking in the entire s that this inequality is holding that means global minimum and if you are taking in a small neighborhood uh, for some delta greater than 0, if you are taking a small neighborhood uh, intersection with s that this inequality is holding that means local minimum. So, in that in that statement suppose uh, x bar is a local minimum. So, let us try to prove that uh, theorem let uh, f be a convex function. On s. Okay. Now, sub, now let uh, x bar be a point of local minimum of f. If x bar is a point of local minimum that means th this implies that there exists some delta greater than 0 such that f x bar is uh, less than equals to f x for all x belongs to delta neighborhood of x bar intersection with s. So, suppose, suppose this expression is 1. Now, we have to show that x bar is nothing but a point of global minimum. So, we will try to prove the result by the method of contradiction. So, let us suppose x bar is not a point of global minimum. So, suppose x bar is not a point of global minimum. So, if it is not a point of global minimum that means there exists some point x in s 
where uh, value of f x is still less than f x bar because f x bar is not a point of global minimum. So, this implies that there exists some say x cap belongs to s such that f x cap is strictly less than f x bar suppose it is true. Okay. Now, still we have not used the uh, uh, convex function the definition of convex function. So, let us try to include that also in the proof then only we can obtain the contradiction. Let x equal to lambda x cap plus 1 minus lambda x bar we are lambda between 0 and 1. Okay. So, suppose suppose this is region S, suppose this is S, okay. suppose this is some x cap, this is some x bar and this is a small neighborhood of x bar for some delta, this is see the radius is delta and this is some x cap. Okay. So, in, in this in this neighborhood in this neighborhood f x bar is always less than or equal to f x for every uh, x belongs to delta neighborhood of x bar and for this x cap f x cap is less than f x bar. Now, uh, now this this is a CLC this is x CLC of these two point. Now, there will always exist some lambda no matter how small lambda may, may be. But uh, there will always exist some lambda between 0 and 1 such that uh, this CLC will, will we get a point at least 1 which such that this point belongs to delta neighborhood of f x bar delta neighborhood of x bar. So, uh, we can say that uh, there will always exist uh, some lambda bar lambda bar uh, between 0 and 1 such that such that uh, x uh, which is uh, CLC of these two points belongs to delta neighborhood of uh, x bar intersection with s. Okay. Because it is x bar and it is some x cap, so there will always exist some lambda uh, such that uh, that uh, x is uh, x belongs to this neighborhood. Now, let us take f x what will be f x? f x will be f of lambda x cap plus 1 minus lambda f x bar and since function is convex. So, this is less than equals to lambda f x f x cap plus 1 minus lambda f x bar. What we are having from 2 f x cap is less than f x bar. So, this is less than lambda f x bar plus 1 minus lambda f x bar which is equal to f x bar. Okay. So, that means now, now where this x is this x is in delta neighborhood of x bar. Okay. This x is in you can take this uh, tilt x tilta this x tilta is in uh, for some lambda between 0 and 1. So, some lambda bar sorry this is lambda bar you have take a lambda bar for some lambda bar between 0 and 1 this x tilde is in delta neighborhood of f x bar uh, x bar. Okay. So, we have shown that f x tilde is less than f x bar, but from 1 f x bar is always less than equal to f x for every x in delta neighborhood, but we have find a x in delta neighborhood where this inequality is reversed that means x, x bar is not a point of local minimum. So, this is this contradicts our assumption that uh, this is not a global minimum hence we can see hence we can say that x bar is the point of global minimum. So, this implies this contradicts 1 and hence x bar is a point of global minimum. of f on s. So, so we can say that uh, if we have a convex function and we have find a local minimum then that local minimum is nothing but a global minimum of f. The next result is that if this function is strictly convex 
then that local minimum is local minimum is global of course, but that is unique. In this, in this case for a normal convex function it may not be unique, but uh, for if a function is strictly convex it is unique. So, let us try to uh, prove this also. So, now it is given to us that uh, f is a strictly convex function. on us ok. And we have to show that uh, global minimum is unique ok. Suppose x bar is a point of global minimum, global minimum point of f x bar belongs to us ok. So, let x bar be not be not a unique point. Be not a unique point. Okay. So, that means this implies that there exists some x cap belongs to S, x bar not equal to x cap such that f x bar is equal to f x cap. Okay. Because if it is not uh, unique that means there will exist some other point also which is global minimum distinct from uh, x bar such that f x bar is equals to f x cap. Now, you take a point you take say z which is lambda x bar plus or minus lambda x cap lambda between 0 and 1. Okay. Now, if you take f z, so f z is nothing but f of lambda x bar plus 1 minus lambda x cap ok. So, it is equals to lambda times f x cap f x bar plus 1 minus lambda times f x cap ok. So, but these two are equal these two are equal that means. So, here it is here it is function is uh, strictly convex. So, this will be uh, this will be strictly less than this. So, this is further equal to because f x bar is equal to f x cap. So, it is lambda times f x cap plus 1 minus lambda times f x cap. So, this after simplification we get f x cap. So, this implies f x f z is less than f x cap. So, this contradicts that x cap is uh, global minimum point ok because there is a z of course, this z belongs to s because z is a convex set. So, this we, we have a point z uh, on s such that uh, f z is less than f x cap that means, this x cap is not a point of global minimum. So, this is a this is a contradiction and hence uh, x, cap, x bar is a, a unique global minimum point of f on s ok. So, we have seen that if we have a if we have a convex function then uh, if you take any local minimum that is global and if function is, con is strictly convex then this global minimum is unique. Now, let us see some other properties of convex functions. So, this we will use and thus uh, other other theorems. So, we just uh, have to uh, recall this definition. So, if a function is uh, differentiable at x bar belongs to s, where s is an open subset of R n, then for any x plus x bar belongs to s, we have this by Taylor's theorem that f of x plus x bar is equal to f of x bar plus x transpose gradient of f x bar plus alpha is a function of x bar and x norm of x where this will tends to 0 as x tends to 0. If function is once differentiable and if it is given to us twice differentiable then this definition will extend up to uh, second derivative I mean uh, Hessian matrix and then it is plus beta function of x bar and x norm of x square 
where this will tends to 0 as x tends to 0. So, this we will use if it is given to us that a function is once differentiable or twice differentiable accordingly in the proof. Now, we have the next result on convex function which is an important result and we will use to, we will try to we will use this uh, result in proving other properties of convex functions. But in point of uh, in the view of machine learning the proof of this theorem is not so important we will try to simply uh, g the geometric interpretation of uh, this result. Okay. So, first we will uh, see what this uh, theorem is basically. So, if function is once differentiable on an open convex subset S of R n then f is convex if and only if that means both side if f is convex then this holds and if this holds then f is convex then uh, uh, this result hold. So, what do you mean by this we will just understand it by geometrically. So, suppose function is from S to R where uh, S is a subset of R. Okay. So, this this property will be nothing but for every x 1 x 2 in S. So, this is basically f of x 1 minus f of x 2 is greater than equals to x 1 minus x 2 f dash of x 2. Okay. So, this is the same property if if I am talking if here s is in R n subset of R n I am taking s in subset of R to understand the geometric interpretation of this property. Okay. So, now let us let us take a function this let us take a point say this point is say x 2 say this point is x 1. So, this is a point suppose this is b point. So, what are coordinates of a point a point is say this function is y equal to f x. So, coordinate of a point will be x 2 comma a f f x 2 and coordinate of b point will be x 1 comma f x 1. Okay. Now, you draw a tangent at this point. Okay. So, what is the equation of tangent at, at a equation of tangent of y equal to f x at a that will be y minus y 1 y 1 is f x 2 is equals to f dash x 2 x minus x 2. Okay. This is the equation of this tangent. Now, what this point will be suppose this point is m. Now, this tangent the intersection of the tangent this and the line x equal to x 1 this line is x equal to x 1. The intersection of these two line give this point m. So, the point m will be x is x 1 and what will be y for a for uh, point m for point m you simply substitute x equal to x 1 find y. So, this is f x 2 plus f dash x 2 x 1 minus x 2. Okay. So, we got this point. Now, you can you can clearly see that this if this point is suppose n this point if suppose this point is n. So, where n point is x 1 comma 0. So, you can see that m n m n is less than b n and if it is a straight line it may hold as an equation also. Okay. So, what is m n? m n is basically m n means y coordinate of m point this height that means y coordinate of this point okay, this height. So, y coordinate of this point is what f x 2 plus f x f dash x 1 f dash x 2 x 1 minus x 2 is less than equal to b n b n means y coordinate of b point y coordinate of b point is what f x 1. So, this implies f dash x 2 x 1 minus x 2 is less than equals to f x 1 minus f x 2. That means the same that means the same point which we are having here. So, so what what uh, we can say geometrically. 
So, geometrically we can say that uh, the if you draw a tangent at any point on a convex function, then tangent is always below the curve okay, or, or on the curve if it is a straight line here it is, this function is strictly convex. So, that is why this is always lie below the curve, but if it is a function like boat shape function then uh, may it may lie on the curve also. So, that means if you are having a convex function if you draw a tangent at any point the tangent will lie either below the curve or on the curve always. So, that is another important interesting, interesting property of convex functions. So, suppose uh, suppose function is given to say function is from r to r and function is defined as say f x equal to x square. You want to you want to show that this function is convex ok I am mathematically geometrically you know geometrically you know that the function is a convex function because uh, if you draw any two point join the chord chord is always above the curve. So, the, so this function is always convex uh, I mean is a convex function. But if you want to show mathematically, so you can use this property. What this property is? This property means for if you take uh, let x1, x2 are any point in S in R, uh, here S is R, okay. Then uh, by then by this property, you have to show this uh, inequality holds. So you can bring this uh, this expression on the left hand side and try to show that the entire expression is greater than or equal to zero for any x1 x2. So, let, let us let us try to see you take f x1 minus f x2 minus x1 minus x2 f dash x2 and what we have to show? We have to show that this expression is get this expression is greater than or equal to 0. If we have shown this then by this theorem uh, we can we can say that the given function is a convex function. So, so let us try to see what is x1, what is fx1, fx1 is x1 square by this definition x2 is x2 square minus x1 minus x2. What is f dash x1, f dash x, f dash x is 2 x, so it is 2 x2. So, this is further equal to x1 is square minus x2 square minus 2 x1 x2 minus minus plus 2 x2 square. So, this is equals to x 1 square plus x 2 square minus 2 x 1 x 2. So, this is equal to x 1 minus x 2 whole square and this is always getting equal to 0 for all for any x 1 x 2 in R. So, in this way we have shown analytically also that the given function is a convex function. Similarly, if you take other examples say e raised to power x. So, using the same concept using the same definition you can show easily show that the given function is a convex function ok. So, geometrically we have already discussed this thing. So, in this lecture we have seen that uh, the two important properties of convex function number one that every local minimum is global minimum and the second property is the if a function is once differentiable and a function is convex it is given to you then then this inequality then uh, then this inequality hold. Okay. In the next lecture, we will see few more properties of convex functions. Thank you.